Five months ago, I lived a perfect life for seven days and it was a hit. That was until I read the comments. Person after person talking about why they couldn't do the routine because of this or that. Maybe they worked a job or it didn't fit into their schedule. So I fixed the routine. And today, ladies and gentlemen, I introduced you living a perfect life with a nine to five. The day starts off early to give us enough time to get some very important things done before work. Good morning, everyone. 7 a.m. All right, it's early for me, okay? It is officially living a perfect life with the nine to five day. I'm beat, I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm already missing the protocol, but let's get it. From there, we're gonna jump into some sun exposure within about one hour of waking. I like to just do it right after I wake up. It's a beautiful morning. It's pretty cold, as you can see, there's still snow on the ground, but it's very important to get some sun exposure on the body, even during winter time. You're still getting that those vitamins from the sun, helps a lot. You're gonna sit out here, nipples are just gonna instantly freeze this whole time, but it is what it is, but as our, holy frick, it's very bright right now. But I'm actually just gonna double my meditation with the sun exposure at the same time. Depending on the type of meditation you do, you can double up. Um, so that's just what I'm gonna do. I'm literally just gonna sit here just in my own thoughts. I'm just trying to bring myself back to present moment whenever I drift away. There's a bunch of different types of meditation, so on and so forth. Today, I wanna get done with things a little bit faster, so I'm just gonna do sun exposure while meditating at the same time. Then we're gonna make our way to the kitchen and drink eight to 16 ounces of cold water with about a tablespoon of salt in it. This is mainly to start our metabolism before actually eating anything. As long as your health conditions allow it. So if you have health conditions that go against it or you have blood pressure issues, whatever it may be, don't do this. I think of the top ways that would be the worst way to start a morning. This has got to be one of them. Got my salt water here. I'm actually almost out of salt. It's a good thing I don't actually do this every day. Otherwise, I'd be running through this freaking salt, dog. Ugh. Ugh. Holy freak, that's horrible. My meal for the day, gonna keep it super, super clean. Some eggs, eggs, and some toast. It's a staple piece in my routine and it is absolutely delicious. So I'm gonna bust out on probably four eggs, four pieces of toast. Bon appetit. From there, we're gonna go ahead and do some cold exposure and get ready for the day before work. Welcome to work, baby. One long commute later, all the way from my bathroom to my bedroom. If you have a longer commute time and these times don't work for you, just wake up a little bit earlier in order to accommodate to your schedule. It's 9 a.m. right now, so this is when most people would probably be starting work or while watching this. Obviously, you can tailor this whole routine to your lifestyle, so on and so forth. A few different things that I'm gonna be following during this work day. Got my notes right here, so I do not forget anything. All of us who are probably under the age of 30, we spend 93% of our day looking at some sort of screen whether that's TV, phone, computer. So our eyes are very accustomed to looking at these close distances. I've talked about this before, so I won't go into too much detail. In order to combat that, we're gonna be using the 20-20-20 rule. What that is, is every 20 minutes, we're gonna look at something 20 feet away. So in my case, I'd be looking outside for 20 seconds. So 20 minutes, 20 feet, 20 seconds for the entire workday. You could do this outside of work and everything like that as well if you wanna make it even better. But this will just get your eyes out of the close vision focus and get it long distance. If you're not working the muscles in your eyes to look long distances over time and as we get older, your vision looking at far distances is going to suffer. So it's very important that you do this and work that long range distance. The next thing I'm going to do is every 60 to 90 minutes, I typically do 90 minutes just because I like to get in a flow state of working, but you can do 60 minutes if you struggle focusing a little bit more, but you're going to stand up and walk around for five minutes. So this could be to refill your water bottle. I'm also keeping a conscious thought in my mind to drink one gallon of water throughout the entire day or to go to the bathroom, whatever it may be. Just walk around for five minutes, take a break, take a breather, get your mind off work. That way when you come back, you'll be ready to go again. A few different things you could do to do this, you could just set a timer on your phone for 20 minutes or 90 minutes or whatever you wanna do. Or there's also a browser extension thing on Google that I use called Unsplash. You could just download it onto your browser, um, but you could literally set a timer on your computer to help you stay on track of things or just search up on Google, Pomodoro or whatever it's called timer and it'll come up. That way you can set the timer, it'll have a work period and a break period. You can set it to the times I just talked about, keep you on focus throughout the entire day while still giving you time to walk around, stretch out, whatever you need to do.
When it's about 4.45, about 15 minutes left in my workday, I'm gonna plan the next day's work at the end of the day. This literally just allows me to take everything where it's like, oh, I need to do this. Hopefully I don't forget this. Let me finish this project, this project. Put it onto a piece of paper. That way when I get home, my mind can just fully relax and it doesn't have to worry about, oh shoot, I should have done this or this or this. Or if a thought like that does come up that I forgot to add to my sheet, I can quickly just throw it on my notes and it's out of my mind. I don't have to worry about it and I can just come back to living in the present once I'm off work, enjoying my time off of work. So I highly recommend you try that if it's a job where it's more computer-based or you have tasks. If you're more of like a laborer or something along those lines, it probably won't work as much for you, but I highly recommend doing something like that, especially if you work a computer job. Once I make it home, first things first that I'm gonna do is make dinner, following the same guidelines as before. Then immediately after, I'll jump into sunset viewing, which will help my circadian rhythm get me ready for bed. The timing on this will depend on the time of year it is and when the sun sets to you, so you'll just have to plan that accordingly. The sun is currently setting as you can see. Meaning it is time to just view the sunset. It's still up a little ways in the air, but just the little bit warmer light that the sunset puts off compared to sunrise. Just get your body ready for sleep. Well, all I can say is it is absolutely beautiful as well as cold. Right afterwards, I'll go ahead and jump into my lifting workout for the day, following a set workout routine so I know exactly what I'm gonna be doing every single day. And after that, I'll spend about an hour and 15 minutes either showering, relaxing, or working on my side hustle. By the end of this freaking course build out, I'm gonna be a professional Google Sheetser. I'm just gonna, I'm a freaking genius. <laughs> At this time, this would also be a good time to start preparing your room for sleep, which is making sure that it's cold in your room as well as dark. Now that the sun is down, my circadian rhythm believes it's nighttime. So if I'm using bright overhead lights or bright lights in general, blue light, for example, it's gonna think, oh shoot, it's not nighttime it's daytime again all of a sudden so we gotta put these on or avoid blue light at all cost or best of both worlds do both when it's about 30 minutes or so before bed i'll go ahead and take magnesium magnesium glycinate or threonate is the best to take in order for sleep benefits after that i'll go ahead and do my night routine my skincare, etc and from 9 30 to 10 p.m i'll go ahead and read a productive book meaning no tv or blue light at all and after even doing all of that productive stuff throughout the day we still have nine hours slotted for our sleep giving us enough time to recover and do it all again tomorrow and ladies and gentlemen that is the living a perfect life routine with a nine to five that any of you can follow now obviously like i talked about you don't have to follow this routine exactly you can conform it to what you need to fit your everyday schedule to make it the perfect life routine for you down below in the description i linked a pdf with the entire outline of everything i've been doing throughout this entire video it's completely free you don't have to put in an email or anything i really do not want that really the only thing i ask in return is maybe a like on the video and subscribe to the channel because that would help me out a ton feel free to dm me on instagram which is going to be right here if you have any questions about anything on this routine or anything in general and maybe even drop a follow if you're feeling crazy while you're at it i hope you guys learned something very beneficial that'll help you out in your daily routines i'll see you next time peace